Mother Nevis Garcia reveals important information regarding the events that will precede the warning. She is asked, Mother Neves Garcia, you have some information about the prophecy from Garavandal regarding the synod that will precede the warning. Can you tell us about this? She answers, Yes, during the apparitions, the Virgin told Conchita that before the future events occur, a synod will take place, an important synod. Then Conchita told the story to her aunt. The aunt asked her, do you refer to council? Because that was the time of the Second Vatican Council. Conchita told her aunt, No, the Virgin didn't say council, she said synod. And I think synod is a small council. It is impossible for a 12-year-old without any knowledge and culture to talk about synod that didn't exist and we don't know at that time. And in addition, she defined the Synod as a small council. I have heard this from Father Rafinel, and he heard it from Father Pesquera, who wrote some on his first books about Garabandal apparitions. He discussed that with Professor Lacus Sede, who works at Paris Sorbonne University, and he described that Synod as a pre-warning. Professor wrote him many letters in which he also described that as a pre-warning. The person interviewing Mother Neves thanks her for the information. Currently, there is a synod taking place in the Vatican. The synod started beginning of October 2021 and will end in October of 2023. Could this be the synod that the Virgin told Conchita. Cristina Inones Sanz, a theologian from Spain, told the gathering that the entire synod process is meant to be a spiritual exercise, with prayer imbuing every moment from listening sessions on the diocesan level to the gathering of bishops in 2023 and the implementation of decisions they and the pontiff make. She says, All the people of God are summoned for the first time to participate in a synod of bishops. All those to whom we do not know how to listen, who left us without us even missing them, they are also invited to make their voices heard, to send us their reflections, their concerns, and their pain. She prayed that God would, she says, teach us to be better Christians, teach us to discover the essence of Christian community, which is communion, not exclusion. It is worthy to note that Christina is a huge promoter and believer in the ordination of women priests. She believes women priests would strengthen the clergy within the Catholic Church. <laughs>